Smooth the Hustler from East New York is an exception. Barb and Evans Taylor is here to tell us he made it with a lot of help from the people closest to him. Barbara? Sean, most important, was and is Smooth's mother. He's a big success, but his mother still plays a big role in this rap star's life. He's Smooth the Hustler, the kid from East New York on the hip-hop fast track. Live and direct, Smooth the Hustler on the set. That's the set in Greenwich Village for the taping of a video for an Eddie Murphy movie. But back in Brooklyn, in a tiny apartment crammed with people, Smooth listens as his mother Vivian is front and center. I thought he was going to be a nerd or a brainiac kid or something, you know. Her 21-year-old son, Damon, known to rap audiences as Smooth, is no nerd. A brainiac, maybe. Oh. He used to carry a pen and a notebook everywhere he went. How old was he? About 10. And all the other kids used to be outside playing, and he'd be upstairs. I'd come upstairs, he'd be writing and writing, and I would go in the bathroom, and he would have tons of notebook paper everywhere. And I used to say, Damon, this paper's not doing anything but collecting roaches. I'm throwing it in the garbage. Or I'd be in here writing. She'd be like, turn the music down. I'd be like, nah, hold up, hold up, I'm just doing something. No, turn it down, huh? that music and this, that. Now I'm like, yeah, all right, watch. Now her bright man-child with two little children of his own rapping in the roughest Brooklyn language tells the story of his life in his first album, Once Upon a Time in America. Meant to be the story of young men growing up, styled after the Robert De Niro movie of the same name, the album is filled with the talk of money, drugs, and guns. This is big concern that guys like you are encouraging other people to do bad things. No, that's, that's not it. You know what it is? It's guys like us that, that deserve the chance just to be heard. I think it's basically coming from the heart because that's our surrounding. Hanging on the stoop, the street corner, the hustle are part of life's rhythm here. There's not much else to do. Smooth's father, Jeffrey Smith. Fast money. That's what, that's what it's about out here is fast money. Because jobs is limited. Education is limited to a lot of them. When your fellow, fellow peers start getting like certain things, you know what I'm saying? You're like, damn, I wish I had that. I wish I had this. Smooth and his younger brother, Tawan, another rising rapper known as Trigger the Gambler, were very much part of the street life. And their mother was terrified. We could be downstairs and she'd hear gunshots somewhere and be, ah, oh, damn it, Tawan. You begin to worry. And things are crazy. You know, people are just doing crazy things and whatnot, and they're young men in the street. You know, that's the hardest part. At home, their father was doing something crazy. He was addicted to crack cocaine for 11 years. It affected my family real bad, especially Smooth, because he was the one that, that really brought it to my attention that it was being noticed. How did that happen? Uh, one day he came, I came in the house like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I found a note on the refrigerator that he had wrote about drug abuse and um, the, the dangers of using drugs, what it do to you, that he learned from in school. And it amazed me, you know, I had to sit down and say, oh, wow, he's like 11, 12 years old and he's writing something like this. Yet if Smooth said no to drugs, he didn't say no to guns. At 17, he was arrested for possession of a Glock 9mm pistol. Everybody kept going. You know what I'm saying? You see guns on TV every day. Nevertheless, Smooth spent four months on Rikers Island. Plenty of time to think and write. I was just heartbroken night because I didn't want to see him locked up. Out of jail, Smooth got serious about music. And that's how the arc of his life story brings us to the turn for the good. Now I'm kind of like more business headed because now, you know what I'm saying, I see some form of legal money happening and I, I see some like longevity in this. Smooth even put his mother on the album, lecturing him to stay straight. I told you before, you can't have your feet in both worlds. The street is not for you. His answer? I'm only human. Okay. You're right, and so am I, son. <laughs>
So from the crime and violence around them, Smooth and his brother Trigger have managed to pull out something good. You got it? Now, people drive past the apartment building waving cassettes or CDs. Smooth and Trigger are local heroes. I don't believe it. You know, I say I don't believe it. And he look good. Yeah, it's it's better than being a wrong way. Huh? Smooth? The short one? The one who looks just like you. Trigger, that's Trigger, that's the fact. Yes, yeah. Your neighbors are falling all over you. Uh -huh. Yeah, they never used to like us before. Nobody, nobody never used to. Because you were just irritating kids? Yeah, we used to, because we used to get into everything. Now, Smooth is shopping for a new house for his mother. He's trying to get her to move from East New York. But she grew up there, and she's not so eager to go far away. Sean and Brenda?